Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to my first ever vid video on Baby Doge. Uh, but I had to cover it today, alright? I mean, I have already seen it since the beginning of January that it was, uh, well, quite often in the top top gainers, in the top 500 or so. Uh, but recently we have, uh, we've grown a lot in market cap but also in price and there's uh, quite a lot of momentum right now on, uh, on Baby Doge. I'm, um, I'm a little bit late with that, I 100% know, but still. Um, Right now, almost 500 million market cap, volume of 70 mil, uh, 75 million. Most of that is actually coming from credible sources. I mean, there's some coming from sources which, uh, well, a little bit less reliable, but still most coming from credible sources. And this is all, or at least uh, mostly, about the launch today of the of the community burn uh, community burn uh, community burn portal. Wow, I cannot talk. Uh, so a lot of more baby doge will be burned. It was already very bullish because a lot of baby doge was already burned, um, but more, more will be burned. Usually, though, what I do want to warn you of is that a crypto is um, is usually bullish ahead of an event like this. But when the event actually happens, usually we we drop down, kind of buy the rumor, sell the news, right? So I'm going to uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how that will evolve with oh, excuse me how that will evolve with baby doge i'll incorporate that in, into the analysis don't worry uh, but it's a uh, it's, it's a normal normal kind of uh, phenomenon which you, uh, i think you should know about uh, with this it could be different because it will still burn a lot of baby doge which is still bullish for the scarcity and therefore also the price of baby doge but it's something you should know so for now let's get right into it um what we did technically is we reach this uh, price target around five, all right? And that's five, but that's 5,000 here, all right? Just so you know, but there's not, not really a different way for, for, for me to say that. Um, but we almost, almost reached five, basically that level around five, which ranges from 4.75 to five, and that's actually a, a historical resistance level, as you can see. But five is also a psychological level, right? Psychological resistance level. So we found resistance there, and it actually looks like it's, it's sticking. So what's going to happen now is that from 4.75, we'll drop down to this level here between 4.3 and $4. If we are actually able to hold that and from that level get a bullish breakout above, not 5, but 4.75, then I think we'll be able to break above 5 and get towards our next price target, which is only around 5.75. And there's a major FIP level there, plus we're getting close to the 6 psychological resist resistance level. And again, six would then be 6,000 here, which is still a long way up. It's still like um, up to six from here would be um, like 35 or 40%. Uh, so there's still actually the chance to go up even more. That's about 35% up from here. Um, but the main question is, is can we actually hold this level around 4.3 and, uh, and 4? And is it strong enough to push us above 4.75? That's a big question. And then we have to take into account a lot of things, such as the inflation rate tomorrow, uh, the effect of buy the rumor, sell the news of this recent launch of the uh, uh, community burn portal. Um, and that's very hard to predict, but we can all see it in the price. We're probably going to drop down to four. Uh, if we can then hold that and retain that bullish momentum, then the chance is pretty big. We'll break above 4.75 and we'll continue this bullish momentum. Uh, but if we drop down to four and we break down below that, so if we lose our current support level, that's bad because then we'll then we'll drop down to 3.8 and 3.6, find support there. But then we have started more bearish momentum uh, and we will hold. I mean, it's a very strong level around 3.5, 3.6. So we will hold that. I'll be back with another analysis on whether we can still get back up from there or whether that's the start of some more bearish momentum and perhaps even a down chance. It's very well possible, but it all depends and I really think so. It, it really all depends on that 4.25 4 level. Can we actually find support there? Is it strong enough to hold us or bring us up towards 4.75? That's what it's all about. I'll monitor it closely. I'll keep you updated on that. But for now, that's my full analysis on Baby Doge. Uh, so if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care. Enjoy your day and bye.